Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, we had been on our way out of the Soldier's Peak area. We were at least heading on our way out. But then I noticed this. You found an old painting, one dating back to Commander Asturian's times. Perhaps Asturian's history points to this. Recite the Grey Warden Oath. And... Ta-da! Astorian Stash. Whoa. Look at all... <laughs> of course I get the heavy chainmail boots and silver, right? Finally. Oh my gods. Okay, well... <laughs> at least now I have them. <laughs> Oh my gods. Okay, well, we can finally get out of here. Oh my gods. Do I still have them on my person? Is a valid question? I do. <laughs> I can finally toss the steel and finally give these to someone who needs it. That said, I mean... My armor is pretty good. I decided I would wear the Warden Commander gloves, armor, and boots because the boots come with extra stamina. Plus the stamina regeneration in combat and backstab chance and physical resistance and extra armor on top of it and fire resistance. And then... Tie that in with the Helm of Han Leith, and we're doing great. We're doing fantastically. And that means I can give the Heavy Chainmail, because this also comes with its own, if I recall correctly, it comes with its own uh, set bonus that allows me to activate spells and talents for less, plus a bonus to health. I didn't know about the bonus to health. What? But it's not saying I have a bonus, though. That's weird. I assume it's implied. <laughs> At least I hope it's implied. Because I was kind of looking forward to that. Oh, well. I'll look into that. I'll look into if that's a bug or not. In the meantime, let's head out of here. That is a long list of names, and I'm not going to subject you guys through it. Just FYI. All right. And now we head out of here. And y'all might be wondering, where do we go? Well, we'll just go to camp and then go back. <laughs> That's where we're going to go. If only to give someone that heavy chainmail armor. I'm just not sure who I'll do that for. But back to the camp we go. Ta-da! All right. And maybe Sten? Maybe. Maybe Sten. Now I think about it, probably Sten. Yeah, he already has heavy chain mail all over the place. And then the commander's plate gloves. When did I give him that? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, we will give him this. And this. And this. And voila. He is good. And we'll also get rid of that and that. Because there's no reason to be using those anymore. Alrighty. Um, Asturian's Might, that's right. And then the Warden's Longsword, too. Okay, thank you. Thank you for rubbing your engine right next to my window. I appreciate that. Okay, anyway. Asturian's Might has two different slots. A 3% critical chance, plus 2 damage, weakens dark spawn, and additional armor penetration. 
Well, I think we found my second sword when I inevitably <laughs> get the dual wielding perk that allows me two swords at once. Man, that's something. Okay, the Warden's Longsword Silverite. Yeah, that's not bad. Not something I'm going to hold on to, but it's not bad. But what I am going to do is head right back out. Now is better than yes, it is. Now is better than later. But this time we're going to take Indeed. you, Indeed. you, and you. Because we're going to head back to the Deep Roads after I'm done with this. But, first things first, is we head to the right button, first of all, and then back to Soldier's Peak. And look at that. Oh, there's a puppy! Hello, puppy. Okay. Welcome back, Warden. Hello, As Levi. As you can see, we've been busy. Clean the place up a bit. Even my brother, Mikhail, came out of hiding. Never will you find a finer smith. Really? So I've got some goods stored here that might interest you. Hmm. Buy them now before my cousins move it all someplace else. Did you tell your family about Sophia? I thought about it, but I figured that it's not a bad thing to believe that you come from a line of lions. True. Even if the truth is a touch more complicated. Yeah. Our family's belief that we were wronged, it gave us strength to make something of ourselves. And what do you think of Sophia? King Arlen sounded like a right nasty piece of work. Yeah. Sophia was branded a traitor. She consorted with blood mages. Mm -hmm. But in spite of it all, I think she was a hero. You're right. You're absolutely right. The keep looks a lot different now. We've a big family. When you were away, we all pitched in. Good. Hard to believe there were undead demons and worse around here, right? Yeah, very true. Any trouble with Avernus? I've not a peep from him. Seems to like keeping to himself. But I keep telling the children to stay away from the tower. Probably for the best. Let me see your wares. Certainly. And he doesn't have a lot in this department, but he does have some good accessories. Pretty good accessories. Plus two to willpower, plus one to willpower, and cold resistance. Well, we, we knew that. Shadow belt. That was something we picked up from the stash. Reduces hostility plus three melee critical chance. Well, I mean... Any opportunity to lower my hostility is probably a good thing. So I should probably equip that as long as I hit the right buttons because I can't seem to do that. Okay, Shadow Built... And, oh yeah, Ogren already has a thing. Alright, I'll just hold on to that for the time being then. Now, what I will do, I don't actually know what I will do. Uh, oh wait, the party storage chest right there, that's what I'll do. What I will do is tuck everything away, I don't currently need which was the whole point of this entire endeavor <laughs> right here the whole point <laughs> in every way shape or form put that away that's good uh i don't think i'll need this for the foreseeable future but in case i do i'll hold on to it uh i I have blown through a lot of health poultices lately. <laughs> Clearly. More than I should have. Alright. Uh, oh, I forgot to give him that gift. Would have loved that. Oh, okay. When I'm what back in camp, I'll do that. Uh, let me see your wares. Because I want to see if you have... Oh, you do have a lot of these. Do you have... You do have the recipes. Not all of the ones I want, but you do have some recipes. Just nothing I need at the moment. You do have distillation agent, though. I do need that. I will need that for the future. For sure. I might as well also get some flasks. There we go. Alright. Uh, just to double check my current stash. Yeah, I'm not doing too bad. 
not doing too bad. Don't need that many death roots, I don't think. But then again, I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. So I won't bother selling them, but I won't buy more. Won't spend money unless I need it. And these I'll probably need. For sure. Ooh, I gave it a quick glance, but I didn't actually look closely at these. These are good. These are very good. Sell all my junk, see how much money I get. Eh, not much more. I got like three extra gold. Ah, uh, man. Oh, well. And you are the smith. The Mikael. You said... You? You said you were a smith. You're the warden? My family owes you. Yes. Any weapons I make, I will sell you for a discount. I appreciate that. Not much of a family resemblance. I have a family full of traders living a soft life. Getting fat. Ah. I chose to learn the way of metal and stone. It keeps me strong. Yeah, I, I can see that. You're a weaponsmith, then. Indeed. I have spent my life studying steel, dragon bone, and more. I learned all I could in human lands, and exiled dwarves taught me more. Give me the finest metals and materials, and I can make wonders for you. Really? Interesting. Well, if I come across anything that's particularly out of this world, wink, wink, I'll let you know. Shall I see your wares? Yes, I shall. Wow. Everything. <laughs> Everything is in the greens. Which is, of course, the highest quality because green is literally the best. Thank you. I say as I hold up my green jacket as if you can see it. <laughs> but green is literally the best color. Anyone who says otherwise is a liar. Anyway, moving on. Uh, we got these here that come with massive bonuses. Massive bonuses all around. And helmets. Dragonbone and Silverite. These are pretty basic helmets, but they are pretty good if you have the strength to wield it. And then the Grey Warden Helmet, which, you know, it's always good. It's very strong protection. And it is in the same coloration as my hat. <laughs> just doesn't have all the stat bonuses. And then the Soldier's Heavy Helm, which is just massive helmet. And then there's Heavy. <laughs> heavy Chainmail. Which is, you know, about what I expected. I expected there would be a set available. These are unique for some reason, but they still work. And I can get heavy chainmail. I can get basically everything. Heavy plate armor, heavy chainmail, splint mail. Which, you know, if I wanted to, it'd be a decent one. Uh, studded leather armor, which isn't too bad. Nothing with, uh, overt additional stuff except for the studded helmets. Everything else is just rather basic. But he does not carry anything else. So, only weapons and armor from this guy. And you can't go back into the castle anymore so if there is anything that comes of uh avernus being up there you won't know by his nephew family owes you a great deal do we also owe you for the weird walk cycle you're using because <laughs> you look like you're walking with a turd in your pants i'm sorry that is what it looks like that is not my fault in the slightest at all. Okay, now we get out of here and we head back to the deep roads. Or at least that's the plan.
we managed to get there. That's a whole other thing entirely. And there we are. And it's probably for the best I get everyone to do their things. Uh, yep. Fire. There we go. And powerful swings. Indomitable. And threaten. There we go. Now we're good. I'd say we're good now. All right. And with that, we head back to the deep roads. Yeah. <laughs> kind of nice to finally not have the worry of, oh, I'm going to get overburdened with crap because I have a chest that is built for that reason. <laughs> now, <laughs> Keridin's Cross. Back we go. All right. And I'm assuming everything that's already dead here is going to stay dead. Now I think about it. Uh, yes, I do have everything I want. Isn't there something better we could be doing? Killing things, perhaps? <laughs> oh, man. Having the ability to proc that and not have less than half of my stamina bar is so nice. <laughs> it's so, so nice. Yep, so deal. Okay, there we go. And we go this way. Is it just me? Or some of the background noises and music giving me, and possibly some of you, a bit of a Fallout vibe? Is it just me? Is it really just me? don't think so at all. I was about to say I'm hoping that this is the correct path because <laughs> I'm not sure anymore. All right. And I think there was a thing over here. There is a thing. There is a path I did not explore. Darkspawn, kill them all. Well. All right, all right. Let's take out this one real quick. There we go. And... What do you... What do you, no. No. What do, you, what do you think you're doing? No. You follow me. Not you guys running into the fray. When murder is going to happen. Okay. Okay. Well, this is going to take a while. <laughs> this fight. Am I blinded or something? Okay, I guess I must have been. Okay. Am I not landing hits at all? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh dear. He is taking so much damage. And that was probably the Shriek's fault. Okay. And down. Yes, my friend. Oh boy. Large dark spawn shield. Worthless. I finished. Uh, Darkspawn Greatsword, worthless. Acidic Coating, I think that's worthless. I think, because I think that's only poison. Yeah, no, that's wor That's vir virtually worthless. Okay, uh, junk, junk. Uh, but junkily junk. Okay. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good now. Take your stuff. Topsider's Hilt. 
the hilt of a fine elven sword. A partial inscription glows faintly in the presence of lyrium, but remains unreadable. Interesting. Topsider's Honor. Hmm. The fool has been following us for three days, but what can I do? I'm sure a city guard could lock him up for being a sodding idiot, but there's no law that says you can't seek your death in the trenches. There's no law down here at all. I said this to his face that if he puts our patrol at risk, I'd split him myself. But he's quiet, I'll give him that. Topsiders usually assume the end of a blight erases the dark spawn from the world. Why does this one care that his victory just drives them back on our doorstep? It's one thing to face them up in the light. He'll cut his own shaft out of here once he fights them in the dark where they live. That or the lyrium won't get him. Well? If the hilt is anything to go by, apparently he died down here doing a lot of fighting. So, wasn't exactly true. Oh, hello. Okay, didn't expect all of these. Oh, great. And of course we're stunned. Of course we're stunned. On top of everything else. Oh, geez. All right. All right. Stunned. And now we fight. Yogurt. Okay. No, no, no. Get off. There we go. And dead before Morrigan dies. Oh, that was lucky. Ooh, that was very lucky. <laughs> and you're dead. Goodbye. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. That was something else. Fractured stone. Okay, that ain't too bad. I'm sure I get something out of this. Two gold? That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad at all. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Death root extract? Yeah, no. We'll junk that for sure. And is there anything over here? The answer is yes? Nah, not much. <laughs> Just fractured lightning. Eh, well. If something, at least. Alrighty. Now, let's see. Have we... This looks like the right way out. Hmm. Horton Tig. It won't be long now. Good to hear. Horton Tig is sitting just ahead of us. But there's a path here that can be explored. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> Go ahead and do that. Also seems to be a side path over here, which means I'm going to go exploring again. Because <laughs> of course I am. It's me. Okay. Well, hi there. Didn't expect... There we go. Okay. Group heal. Not bad. We're just chasing them down just to kill them. Oh, and a deep stalker. And down. Good. Not too shabby. And there isn't a mage in the group. They just fall apart. Torso in a bag? Okay, I'm not sure what to think of that. Um... Um, I'm going to mark all as red, mainly because I don't know what that's about, and I'm sure I'll find out. I'm sure I'll find out soon. 
think we've alerted something to our presence. Well, I mean, I'd be surprised if we didn't. Eh, it wasn't anything worthwhile. No, it worth writing home with that. There we go. And we are just tearing through them. I am especially tearing through them. Alright. And... Booyah. Oh! Morgan got a level up. Which we'll have to wait while we kill more of them. Take care of this. Stalker leader. All right. Oh, there's another deep stalker leader that's been attacking the girls the whole time. How dare you? There we go. All right, let's give her that level up quick while we have the opportunity to. Uh, up magic a bit, I guess, and. Hmm. Not sure. Hmm. Cunning feels like the right move. Hmm. Go with willpower. Alrighty. And there's really no reason to get her anything else other than Master Herbalism, so might as well just go ahead and do that. But the same time, more combat tactic slots would be good. I say, why not? Let's do it. Um, hmm. The bear shape would be good, too. Mm hmm. Revival. Oh, revival would be great. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's worth it. Uh, let's see. Death Siphon would be nice. Would be nicer. And Walking Bomb injects a target with corrosive poison that inflicts continual nature damage. If the target dies while the effect is still active, it explodes, damaging all targets nearby. Friendly fire possible. Well, then uh, it's not worth doing that <laughs> with like two melee players that will end up killing everyone. Hmm. Let's go with walking bomb. Mainly because I want to get to death siphon. That's the one I want. Okay, and now with tactics... Oh! I have two! Cool. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to move that up there and move that there. Because then it's more likely that... Wait, do you have affliction? Oh, you don't. Oh, I forgot to give you affliction. Because then that spreads. Ah. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. <laughs> Can I back up? Can I back it up? No, no. All right. That's fine. That's fine. And put that there. What does Mind Blast do anyway? I'm not entirely sure. Either way, it doesn't matter. Um, ally, health. Uh, Hmm. Yeah, 75. Let's do 75 and then have the heal be on that. There we go. Because, well, I guess if... Lowest, highest health. Um... Yeah, no, that's fine. Put it at 50. That way we're not going through her mana all that much. Uh, 
Um, regeneration. Regeneration does stamina and mana. So let's do that at 50% instead. Yeah, there we go. Because then she could use it on herself. Um, hmm. Self. Any. Activate mode. Uh, uh, put that on death siphon when we inevitably get it. Okay. That's good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, there we go. Two tactic slots. That's why that happened. I'll get on it. That makes more sense. Alright. Yeah. There we go. And there's the mama. I had a feeling there was a mama here. Alright. Is it embarrassing? <laughs> Alright. And we are doing so well against this thing. <laughs> wow. That was beyond wild. Sarcophagus. Battle Axe and Diamond Maul. Okay. The Diamond Maul is probably better than Ogren's weapon, but not by much because I'm assuming he has the red steel battle axe. So the battle axe we just got is also matched to it. Um, Ogryn, there we go, and yep, I was right. The diamond Maul. Hmm. It does less damage and has lower critical chance, but it has massive Armor Penetration and Strength Modifier. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, honestly, if I want to go with that or not. Hmm. I had to look at things on my computer for a second, so sorry about that weird pause in the middle. Uh, it was acting up with the disk drive, but turns out it was McAfee, because of course it was McAfee. So, uh, yeah, what I was saying was I'm not going to go with the Diamond Maul, because the damage is not that much better, even if the armor penetration and strength modifier is pretty high. The critical chance uh, being significantly lowered and the damage being lowered by just a small margin is enough to tell me, no, I shouldn't do that. So I'm just going to junk that and then junk this. If we get a Silverite Battle Axe... Then, then we'll revisit this. But for now, no, not going to do that. So, with that done, and this area is now fully explored, from the look of it anyway. Oh, wait, no, there's more. There's more. Fractured stone and some rubble on the crosscut drifters. Okay, time to get out of here. Because we have followed this path to its inevitable conclusion. Which means there are a few paths that we still have to do. Because I know this area is expansive as all hell. So let's go and get to it. Alright. Tell me something I do not know. Wow. But you are always dressed in such rags. It suits you, I suppose. Oh boy. A little tear here, a little rip there to show some skin. I understand. Um. You understand I lived in a forest, I hope. Maybe um. we could get you in a nice dress one day. Silk. No, maybe velvet. Velvet is heavier. Better to guard against the cold in Ferelden. Velvet is pretty Dark good. Dark red velvet. Yes. With gold embroidery. Uh, um. It should be cut low in the front, of course. We don't want to hide your features. <laughs> Stop looking at my breasts like that. It's most 
disturbing. <laughs> you don't think so? And if it's cut low in the front, <laughs> we must put your hair up. Show off that lovely mess. What the hell? You are insane. <laughs> I would sooner let Alistair dress me. <laughs> It'll be fun, I promise. Oh my god. I'll get some shoes too. <gasps> shoes. We could go shopping together. Girls, please. Please. While I appreciate this. Trust me, I do. Do you really think now is the best time? Really? Really? Okay. All right. Okay. That was a thing. <laughs> that was a thing. Oh, a glass phylactery. Well. Might as well do that. Well, hello. Alright. We're doing pretty well. Or we were. Holy crap. I thought we were doing better than we currently are, apparently. Okay. Oh, boy. How is... How is she getting damaged so much? Oh, because she's right behind me. To vent her shield and a scrap of paper. Okay. And a greater health poultice to boot. Binding the second corpse walker. Binding the third. Binding the fourth. Binding the fifth. Okay. Well, I am apparently working my way through the corpse binders. Things. I guess. I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, um, to Vinter Shields is a targe. It's not worth it. What about Duster Leather Gloves? Is it worth it for anyone? No, she has repeater gloves, so go away. All right. Good enough for me. And did we... I think we already did. We did do this. We already did do... No, we didn't. No, we didn't. I was thinking it looked familiar. I was wrong. Oh, Jesus. All right. Okay, well, that worked out. Let's go help him with the emissary. Okay. There we go. Are you... Are you... They are being stupid. Holy crap. Alright. This is fine. This is fine. Alright. Alright. Okay. And we're doing okay against the Bronto. As much as I could have hoped for. Actually, not going too badly. Well, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Break that trap. And go for you. There we go. And take you out. Ooh. And yeah. That wasn't too bad. That was not too bad at all. That could have gone a lot worse. Considering how well it did go. <laughs> I am ecstatic. Could have gone so much more worse. Oh my god, there's so much going on here. The Drifter's Cash. The Drifter's Cash. What? Where? Where? Uh, Drifter's. Where's. Where's the thing? Quest related. Crosscut Drifter's. Uh, it's in the info here somewhere. Uh, 
Forza Mar. Drifter's Cash. Okay. Anvil of the Void. We're heading there. We're getting to that. Location of an old cache in Keridan's Cross. And the key to the city. Increased understanding of Orzammar society has revealed a diplomatic cache accessible to representative, representatives of the assembly. Uh, mark this as active quest so I can find it on this map. Oh, I already went in there. But that's where it's available. Interesting. Yep, that's a dead end. <laughs> Don't want to be bothered with that side. All right. Oh, there was a path to this place through there. Interesting. And I'm going to take this body's loot and get out of here. And I'm pretty sure there was a trap right here. Trap right ahead. Yes, there was. Booyah. And then the barrel has nothing. Alright. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. Now to go ahead and get that cash. Oh. I forgot I left a body back here. Oh, the Genlock runners were right in front of... Right in front of where I was going to run into that group. I see. And it's probably a good thing they did, because they made me go around the uh, tripwire trap. Okay. Heading up to that cache now. Which is... A place I already went, but... That was not here when I was here. Oh my goodness. Ring of the warrior efforts, gloves, thorn of the dead gods. Whoa. Whoa. Thorn of the dead gods. In the moment that it struck, the blade of the Grey Wardens who killed Toth, archdemon of fire, shattered into three pieces. After the Battle of Hunter fell, the Wardens carried their fallen brother to Weishaupt for a hero's burial. But the broken pieces of his sword were left behind. For years, the shards lay forgotten on the battlefield. Steel became etched with the corrupted blood of the dead god. They were eventually discovered by a Navarran woman, searching among the bones for a sign of her lost son. She sold them to a blacksmith, not knowing what they truly were, for ten bits. The smith, however, knew that he had purchased more than scrap metal and fashioned the shards into three identical daggers, the thorns of the dead gods. They left his hands and were scattered to the far corners of Thedas, but everywhere they went, the thorns left misery and loss in their wake. The woman who unearthed them died soon after of plague. The smith fell into his forge. Each person who has held one of the thorns, even briefly, has died an untimely death. Can I put that back then? <laughs> Could I just put it back and just walk away? <laughs> no? Okay. It's fine. It's fine. To be fair, to be fair, it's not like we didn't already know we're going to die. <laughs> We've already known for a while. This has been known information. Anywho. Time to move on. Get out of here. And where do we go next is the question. There is a path we haven't explored. That is true. I say we explore it before we finish off Keridan's Cross. And move on. Finish off as in writing it off. But anyway. Allons-y, I guess. <laughs> Just hoping for something a little bit more inspired out of my mouth, but no. Mm, beast. 
Let's maul it. <laughs> Did that come out of my mouth? A beast, let's maul it? That's weird. Alright. Time to take out a whole bunch of these at once. Wait, I'm causing bleeds. I forgot I'm causing bleeds. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Cause bleeds now because of my dual wielding. <laughs> I forgot about that. Ah, that's fantastic. Oh, man. I love it. I love it. Runestone on shapers. Hmm. It's uh, quest related? Hmm. Oh, these are these are things that I can tell about I can tell the shaper when I get back. That's what those are for. Okay, now it makes more sense. All right. It's a fractured stone here with life stones, nice. And I think we're good. Now we can whoops. I can move on if I don't run into the geometry. <laughs> oh. I am for no You're kidding. Right. They appeared behind me. That's shenanigans. Yeah. Alright. These guys didn't even move. That's silly. That's just outright silly. They didn't even bother moving. That was just silly of them. Alright. Alright. And bleeds are so useful, even if they are small. Head in a bag. Um... Asunder. The ritual was very specific, as such things probably should be. Torso, head, and limbs spread amongst the deep roads to prevent the creature from returning. Looks like they died during the cutting, but we can fulfill the last part in their stead. I'm not familiar with elven ritual, why would I be, but it seems pretty straightforward. Never even saw the thing, bet a sword would take care of it. Sod it in this bag of legs. Might not be elven, maybe human. Doesn't matter, we can still follow the directions. Torso, head, and limbs bagged and dispersed. Simple enough. This magic stuff doesn't seem that complicated. Scribbled in corner. No job for a warrior. First hole gets the bag. A torn ritual page of indeterminate origin. The body rendered to its separate parts. Spread wide such that no life is witnessed. No heartbeat detected. In this way, the beast can remain for an age, as knowledge passes and pursuers live out their lives. Scribbled in the corner, I was wrong, not elven. Hunters didn't kill it. It allowed this? Keep the pieces apart, I guess. Away from the heart. Well, if I have all of those things, that means I didn't follow the directions. <laughs> Whoops. Done. Ooh. Red steel greatsword. Not good for me, but maybe for Sten. Who knows? Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. Well, I'm going to have to end the episode, but that'll be after I take out all these deep stalkers. So I might as well just do my outro now. I probably won't have a similar situation in No Man's Sky when I was recording that. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos. And if you want to see more, click the like button if you like this particular video. Share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. I was able to manage it without much fuss. Oh, this is a Oh, for crying out loud. This has been the one and the only stray cat playing games and dealing with everything down in the deep roads after having dealt with everything in Soldier's Peak and giving us a nice little chest to store our stuff in. And we've eliminated basically every threat in the deep roads for around Keridan's Cross before we leave to then further find Orton Taig. Hopefully it's faster than this episode has been <laughs> in the next episode for you.